hey, I wanted to try to make a quick video to hopefully help some other folks who may be in the same situation I was. I got this truck about three weeks ago. Uh, it's a 2017 F-350 uh, Platinum, and uh, my son was getting in, and he popped this the cover, the 12-volt cover open and broke it off. And so I thought I'd make this video to try to help some other folks who uh, might be in the same situation I am. Um, what I started trying to do is I tried to pull this this trim piece off and I was having issues. I thought maybe I could get a screwdriver behind here and pop out the, the cigarette or the 12 volt um, hookup, see if I could pull it out. Um, but what I ultimately ended up finding, which helped the most, was if you pull on uh, your cup holder here, let's see if I can do it one-handed. This piece, this piece pops right off with not too, too much effort. Um, <sighs> And then that gives you access to all your your wiring hookups and everything. Um, this is your 12 volt connector. the The prong to release it is on the bottom. So when you're pulling it out, um, you need to grab from the bottom and push the tab up. Um, but this allowed me to at least get my hands back here and to unhook it and be able to get a screwdriver into the two little square holes here so these are what lock into this plastic piece that hold it all together so I got a replacement here's the part number um, replacement for it and all you all you're really gonna do is slide the plastic piece back behind here and lock it into place and then you can slide it back into here and hook it up and you're all set let's see if i can do all this one-handed here so if you look close there's three little notches right there you can see them pretty good those line up with the three notches on here one two three once you get those lined up should slide right in so there we go slide right in bam you're in you're in luck. It locks in. You can see those plastic pieces pop into those squares. There's two of them. So when you're trying to get it out, you get a screwdriver in there and you push you push the black black plastic out. And when you have access to down in here, once you get one of them out, you can kind of hold the metal piece or you can push the metal piece out enough that it's the plastic's out of the way and you can move your screwdriver to the other side and do the same thing and it'll pop right out. So then all you do, slide it right into place. I think I might have to actually, before I put the metal piece on, I think I have to get the piece of plastic in. Yeah, so you definitely need to put the plastic piece in before you slide this in. I had to pull it out and pop the metal back out before it let me put the piece of plastic in. One thing uh, on the part I ordered had the 12 volt logo on it, but it was written sideways which I didn't really want, so I sprayed that really quick, just sprayed it black to match the original one. The original one didn't have any writing on it. So once you have that, you can slide this piece back in, which locks it in there. And then attach the power plug, and you should be set like that so hopefully that helps you 
So reverse order, you'd open this up, you'd take the power cable off first, then you push on those uh, black tabs, there's one right, one right uh, there, and you can see one on the, on the higher end too, on the upside. Push those in, and you'll grab and, and uh, push the metal piece out. So hopefully that helps you guys. And then the top right here, just uh, pops back on and you're good to go.